let's say for example, our family troop would have a territory and they can range up to 16 square miles or 41 square kilometers. So it's a good stretch of land. But they will overlap on a lot of the edges with other guerrilla troops. And the whole idea of the territories overlapping is really neat because there has also been research in the last 10 years that says that they have discovered that every so many years, the Western lowland guerrillas will have, if you will, a festival. I don't know, I, I'm sure they call it something else. I call it a festival where, I don't know how, but they communicate and all the troops gather in one location and they spend, you know, a week or so there or more visiting. I just thought that was amazing. But then what they realized is that is how some of the younger silverbacks form their troops. They get the females because the females want to branch out. So they go with some of the other, not necessarily the, the newer silverbacks, they could just switch to a different silverback. So they're, they're moving, but you see, that's genetic diversity, but they're doing it all by themselves. I just think that is so fascinating that they're, that they really cut down on any kind of inbreeding by doing that. The research is still ongoing and this is what they're discovering.